Hi there. I'm Lisa Bickmore, your instructor, and I'm here to welcome you to English 2010. I'm really excited about English 2010 this semester, and I'm going to outline a bunch of reasons why. I've been working with a couple of my colleagues, Jennifer Courtney and Benjamin Solomon, to design a new version of English 2010, one where you'll meet regularly, one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, with me, with a tutor, or sometimes with one of the other professors. Now this means that your writing will get lots of attention, which we hope results in greater success for you, the student. Since the class is a hybrid, part online and part face-to-face, -face, you'll participate in learning activities and discussions online, but our face-to-face -face time will be spent working closely with your writing projects. We all think this redesign is very promising and hope that you find it supports you well as a writer learning more about writing. The course has a home page. It also has a very detailed syllabus and a schedule, which I urge you to read carefully. Everything that you need to know about the course up front is there, including the kinds of assignments we'll do, a schedule of reading, discussion and writing activities, course policies, and so on. It's often helpful to return to the syllabus regularly throughout the course to refresh your memory about these things to find answers to your questions to see the things you'd like clarified. You should never hesitate to ask a question, of course, and uh, I encourage you to do this as soon as uh, questions arise, but I also encourage you to be fully empowered as a learner, which in part means being responsible for investigating the course to find out what's there. So read the syllabus. You'll have lots of opportunities to talk, to talk to me in this course since we'll be meeting regularly. But you can always contact me out of those meetings, outside of those meetings, by messaging me in Canvas or by calling me. My extension is on the syllabus or by dropping by my office. I'm always glad to answer your questions and to talk with you about the course, so don't hesitate. In this course, you're going to learn to be a more adaptable, flexible, purposeful writer you'll learn about many more genres of writing and the circumstances and typical communication situations that call for these genres. You'll learn new strategies of research and you'll become more knowledgeable and expert about documenting and citing that research. Um, you'll write in more than one medium, visual mediums such as comics, photo essays, and audiovisual mediums like videos or screencasts using multiple communicative modes. Don't worry, We'll learn these things. You don't already have to know them. I encourage you to take risks as a writer, to try new and different way, kinds of writing, and to explore your ideas and communicative strategies in ways you might not have before. Most of all, you'll learn to think rhetorically, how to more fully assess and imagine the situations in which you might write, and how to adapt and attune your writing to those situations, how to respond to those situations in fitting, apt ways. To be successful in the course, you need to be a proactive, self-motivated person. This course has many tools to help you stay engaged and on track, but you will be the one who makes the decision on a regular basis to take up those tools, to respond to your peers in discussions, to begin your writing assignments so you have plenty of time to research, draft, get response, and revise. So a successful English 2010 student is an engaged student. You should also be willing to try different strategies of writing and to be a little experimental as a writer. And finally, to be successful in the course, you should be willing to see a writing project through multiple iterations. A writing course is a perfect time to really look in depth at how you get a piece of writing done from start to finish and beyond. You'll have many opportunities to get feedback and to revise, so a key indicator of your likely success in the course is your willingness to look, really look, again and again at your writing and to take thoughtful actions to improve it. I want to show you a few features of Canvas that will be important in this class. So let's go there right now. Canvas is one of the key mediums for the class and it will completely repay you to get familiar and skilled with its ins and outs. I like Canvas, but if you find that aspects of Canvas are tricky for you, check in right away. I can certainly help you, but let me also point you to the truly excellent help features of Canvas. I'm going to click there, it might take a second. So um, you can search the student guides. If you click on here for the Canvas guides, it will take you to the guides and there's a set of guides for students as well as ones for instructors. Look for the specific tool you're having trouble with and see what help topics there are. You can also ask 
the SLCC eLearning Support Desk if you are having troubles with Canvas. You will use the sch scheduler to set up your in-person visits to the Learning Commons. I'm going to show you an example of a scheduler. So here is the scheduler, um, or I've clicked on the calendar and this takes you to the scheduler. If you scroll down you can see that there's a first lab session for your course, which is with me, Lisa Bickmore. You would click on this and it will show you the times that there are available for you to sign up. Now for these lab sessions I've made it possible for four people to sign up for any one session. So you can click on that and you can sign up for it. Because I'm a teacher I can't sign up for it, but when you do this you'll be able to find it. So that's the scheduler. You'll be using it regularly in this course and um, I just want you to get familiar with that. To access all the online course content, I'm going back now to the home page, um, you can do this. First of all, the home page, I've tried to put links here where everything is. You can see I haven't yet put the course intro video because I'm making it right now. There's a link to the syllabus. There's a link to the course schedule. Let me show you the course schedule. You can access assignments in the calendar. If you've used Canvas before, you know this. But you can also access all your assignments through this um, schedule that I have made. I've tried to make links for every single assignment that I've given you and uh, that will take you, say for instance here is a discussion post, it will take you to the discussion forum, whoops I need to put some content there, and you can post your comments to that discussion. Um, one thing I want to highlight, doing the readings and the viewing the videos before you participate in discussions or begin writing assignments will really help you to get off to a good start. Sometimes students want to leap ahead and return only if they feel that they've missed something. Um, but I encourage you to take the time to read and view first. So here I've got a column that says read, research, and view. Here's readings from Har the Harbrace Guide to Writing, the concise version. And here are some um, essay samples that I'm going to link. And then there are several videos here that you can watch. And if you read these or view these videos and do the readings, you'll be much better prepared to, first of all, participate in this discussion. But you'll also be more prepared for this writing assignment, which um, comes due in week three. So there will be also short quizzes uh, um, and on the chapter readings and the video presentations and that I'm hoping will also encourage you to um, to do the readings and view the videos first. A note about the textbook that we're using. Um, we're using the Harbrace Guide to Writing, the concise version, second edition, and I encourage you to explore getting the ebook. It's very inexpensive. If you buy it through cengagebrain.com, it's less than $20, and I will send you the link for that. We'll definitely be using the book, so don't delay in getting your hands on a copy. If you're having a hard time getting a print copy and you think you might like to get an e-copy, I encourage you to explore that. To rent it all the way through July, it only it costs less than $20, which is quite amazing. Um, but you must have the concise second edition. Other editions simply won't do. So let me tell you just a little bit about myself. I've made a little um, comic here that you can link to and there are, I'll show you if you click on it, um, you can go here and you can see that there are links to various things that I've created. So there's links to my social media, to my own ePortfolio, to a video that I made about revision um, and so forth. Um, but also I um, I just want to tell you that I've been teaching full-time at Salt Lake Community College for more than 20 years. I'm a writer myself. I'm a multimedia writer as well as a poet, and I've written in my field as a composition instructor. I find the process of working with student writers intensely interesting and very rewarding. I've enjoyed teaching English 2010 now for many years, and I've revised the course many times to I, I hope improve it and I'm very excited about this version of the course because I believe it is an improvement and a very exciting advance in potential for student learning. I also teach courses in creative writing, in grammar and style, and publication studies. I'm really looking forward to working with you this semester and I can't wait to get started.